It's super flattering on the butt. It's not very sweat proof. Gymshark loves to sell out quickly. That wasn't by accident, people. It's not restricting my motion like at all. This top needs to be a little longer. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And today we are talking about the Gymshark X Whitney Simmons collection fiasco. Sorry, I mean launch. That happened a couple weeks ago. And usually I'm really on top of it. I get my videos out ASAP. But as I said, it was a fiasco. There are a few things I wanna talk about first. Some issues I had with this launch, some issues I had with Gymshark, and just kind of like clear in the air a little bit. Because this was not a normal Gymshark launch where you go on, you get things, they may or may not sell out, and then you're on your way. No, no, this was not. So if you did not take part in this launch and you don't know what I'm talking about, Basically, apparently this launch was projected to not sell out for weeks and it sold out at least on the US site within probably about 10 minutes. First of all, the collection actually opened up three minutes before the projected launch time or sorry, the announced launch times, which doesn't seem like a big deal, but people were already starting to buy things. Long story short, things sold out really quickly. People who expected to get items ended up not because the website would crash and kick them off, which happened to me. They had different stock for different countries. So the US and Canada sold out like really quickly, but the rest of the world site and the UK site still had like sizes in everything right after the launch. Whitney was really upset about this and she posted on her Instagram story, clearly upset at the situation. She was in tears. It was like honestly heartbreaking because like this isn't her fault. And Gymshark said they will not be restocking, but there's more to come from Whitney. So I think she's releasing more items coming up, but I don't think these same items are launching again, which is kind of silly because a lot of people still want them. But Gymshark makes weird marketing choices. These are made on purpose. I think it creates hype around the products. Flash forward a few days later, the items magically come back in stock on the Canada website. And then a few days after that, they magically came back in stock on the US website, which means I was able to get a few more items. It took over a week for my first package to come, which was like a long time. It didn't ship like for a long time either, which is weird for Gymshark because usually they're like on it. My second package actually came in like three business days, so that was pretty good. Okay, something I wanna talk about, talked about this in my Instagram story, but I want everyone to know that none of this is Whitney's fault. Gymshark has had multiple launches where their website has had issues, it has crashed completely, it's had a lot of problems and they refuse to fix it, and there's literally no excuse for this. Look at Facebook. They have a website that supports millions of users at every moment, and Gymshark has maybe a few million on at this launch time, and they can't handle it. There are web platforms that are robust enough to handle lots of people. And Gymshark refuses to invest in that. And the fact that they told Whitney that the stock would last for weeks makes me really upset because having taken any basic level statistics course, I could have told you that the amount of stock they purchased would have sold out. First of all, everyone knew this was going to be the biggest Gymshark launch in a long time. Like, there was no mystery. It's a Whitney Simmons, she's huge. The items were really cute. And Whitney has millions of followers and Gymshark has millions of followers. Her followers are loyal. There's no excuse for this selling out so fast because they knew. They knew how much stock they needed. Gymshark is a big company. These companies know these things. Like, this is so important to their functioning for them to know how much product to make. Yet, they did not make enough. That wasn't by accident, people. My theory that they intentionally didn't make enough so only a few people could get it, it's limited edition, it creates hype. Gymshark loves to sell out quickly, which I hope they just eventually end up fixing this because if they have customers that want their products, I don't know why you wouldn't want more customers wearing your products. I don't know all the details behind the consumer psychology that they're doing, but it's something else, okay? It is not Whitney's job to do market data research and figure out how many products of these items to produce. Like, it's not her job. She was just designing it with, with Gymshark and she's like the face of the brand. It's not her fault. Anyways, now we're going to get to the review. I just wanted to say that this is unsponsored. It is unbiased. Whitney is one of my favorite influencers, but it is very important to me on this channel to be honest with you guys, so I will be giving my full honest feedback. I have already worn the set to the gym, so I will insert some clips throughout the video of how I felt about everything. I also wanna say that for the first time, I think ever on Gymshark, they used more inclusive models on the actual website for the stock images. So the models were actually size like medium to large, which is very unusual for Gymshark. Usually it's always small. So I think that really does help people who are those larger sizes to figure out, is this going to look good on me? Is, like what is going to fit me. So I think that was probably Whitney's doing. So I think that's really awesome that they're starting to do that. Cause not everyone buying gym clothes is a size small, okay? 
Also, I just checked the Gymshark website and they're no longer displaying this collection, so it must have completely sold out. Okay, the first thing I'm going to talk about is the leggings. So these leggings are a 7 8 length. So the leggings are made of a polyamide elastane blend. Basically, Whitney made herself a pair of Gymshark Lululemon aligns. We all know Whitney likes Gymshark, but we also know that Whitney loves Lululemon. Even more probably because she wears aligned pants way more than she wears Gymshark. And that's just the tee, people. That's that's the tee. All right, so here are the leggings. The waistband looks super small. This is the extra small, but it did end up fitting me, and the waistband actually like isn't bad. So it does have a little seam at the top of the waist, but it's not an elastic. There's no like actual elastic that I can really feel, and it doesn't like squish you in so that you're like spilling over at the top. It's actually a pretty flattering waistband. It feels really just like tight around this region and it really just holds you up very well. So yeah, we have a high waist. We have this little gold bar detail and I'm going to insert a photo of one of my friends on Instagram. Like as soon as she put on these leggings, the little gold bar like immediately like ripped off. So I think that might've just been like a one-time thing, but I'm just saying like there have been some quality issues. There's this really cute little breathable detail in the back here. My favorite part is that the seams on the butt are slightly curved, so it just really enhances that booty. She does have her signature, it's a beautiful day to be alive on the inside. So it's on the inside of the leggings and then on the outside of a lot of the other items. Okay, here's the fabric. As you can tell, it is brushed and it is like super, super soft, but I feel like it's a little bit off from a line still. I don't know what it is, but it definitely is incredibly stretchy. Like the fact that I was wearing an extra small and it didn't restrict me in any way during like deadlifts or squats, that's, I'm on board. There is no front seam, but there is a back seam. So you can kind of pull it up your booty a little bit, give a little, little enhancement to the butt. But no front seam means no camel toe. There's a slightly extended gusset crotch, but nothing crazy. And they are a true 7 8 length. So I'm filming this as I just got the first package yesterday, which took whatever um and I got these both an extra small the top and the leggings your girl is not usually an extra small and it honestly fits just fine like the waist isn't cutting into me too much it's not restricting my motion like at all I'm gonna go do a little leg workout in these and I usually sweat the most on leg days so we'll be able to see if they're sweat proof okay so just got back from the gym and as you can see by the little clip I took it's not very sweat proof I was already like I know like I sweat a little bit from my pets but I'm not like the sweatiest of all sweaty people like I do sweat as a normal person but you know what I mean um we got some pit sweat immediately so I took the top off I didn't actually get any sweat marks on the actual leggings didn't get any sweat marks here there was a little bit of a sweat mark in the crotch but I'm not going to show you because of all the creeps who may or may not be watching this but it stayed on really well um it just collected a ton of lint like I showed I'll insert a little clip like any kind of lint that was around it got on these like it got on like really a lot there's still some lint left over yeah, there's still definitely some lint here but I did use my hip band or like little glue band and it didn't fuzz up the leggings so it did stay sturdy to that they also didn't fall down very much because this waistband is just really nice and holds it up so okay so here are the leggings I am wearing these in a size small and honestly I think I like the smalls a little better than the extra smalls a small is my normal size, so I think my sizing recommendation is to stick with your normal size. The extra smalls, I had a lot of trouble getting the waistband over my waist because this waistband doesn't have a lot of stretch to it. But because it doesn't have a lot of stretch to it, it actually provides a good amount of compression in the waist. But this compression is only at like this part of your waist, so if you're looking for a legging with lower tummy control, this probably won't be it. The whole legging in general, I would say, is a very light compression, very similar to Lululemon Aligns. Comparing them to Aligns, I think the feel of the fabric is very similar. It's also super, super stretchy and not restricting at all, just like Aligns. But Aligns do not have a seam at the top of their waistband. They also don't have any compression in their waistband. So I do actually like that these Whitney leggings have this compression at the top because it kind of just sucks you in. I don't feel like it stays up super well. Like I think it could stay up a little better, which is why the extra small is nice. I love the gold band. I think it's super cute, a little more sophisticated than the regular Gymshark logo. It's super flattering on the butt. I think that these little booty seams do such a good job. So definitely high on the booty scale. The seams also come well above my butt. So there's no cutting off of the booty coming on here. I really love this little perforated detail. And I just think it's really unique to not have the front seam. That's another difference from Aligns. Aligns do have a front seam. So they can give you camel toe. 
these are really not going to give you any camel toe. In terms of length, they are just like a little bit short on me, but like they are supposed to be a 7 8 length. So they're just kind of like a long capri on me, to be honest. We're going to come down here. I had a few people message me saying that like these leggings really weren't made for people above 10% body fat and they just felt like because the fabric is so thin and it doesn't have any compression that it wasn't really doing them any favors in terms of cellulite and just like holding them in. So if you do have cellulite and you do like leggings with some compression, I don't know if I would go for these. Maybe in the black because they won't show the cellulite, but I don't think these are cellulite friendly leggings. At least from what people have told me, I personally don't really have a lot of cellulite so I'm not a good one to tell. But I mean, it's flattering on me, but I also, I also don't really have cellulite. As you can see with the waistband here, when waistbands are too tight, I do get them kind of digging into me. And I just don't really feel like this is like really making me, you know, it's not like creating rolls. It's just holding me in. So I think I actually really like this waistband. This is the extra small. As you can see, the waistband is a little tighter, snatches me in a little more. But honestly, these leggings are so stretchy. There's still no restriction in a size down and I feel totally fine like squatting and everything. So I really like these leggings due to their flexibility. The waistband though, because it doesn't have a lot of stretch was hard to get on over my butt. But now that they're on, it's totally fine in the extra small. Lastly, we have the hot fire pink or whatever it's called in a size medium. Definitely just like a little bit of room in the waist for me, so it's not, it wouldn't really hold me up very well. Teeny bit of extra fabric around the crotch, but honestly, the main issue here is just the waistband. The rest of the leggings are so stretchy. I think the sizing is honestly probably pretty similar just because it like has so much stretch. So I think if you have a smaller waist, I might go for your size down. And if you have kind of like a little more weight in the midsection, maybe size up, but you're probably gonna be fine with like your normal size, honestly. I like my size small. I also got the sports bra. And the sports bra is made of the same super soft material as the leggings. It has a little cutout detail in the front that's pretty subtle, so it's not gonna like show any crazy under boob. The signature, it's a beautiful day to be alive, going up the left shoulder. And then in the back, it has a cute little cutout ring. We will see if this like hurts my back or anything, but it should be between kind of like your shoulder blades, so it shouldn't really affect anything. I like that the Gymshark logos are a little more subtle on these, because sometimes Gymshark can be a little crazy with the logos, like at the flex leggings. But, um, but yeah. This seems really cute. On me, I just feel like the sports bra, it's not really showing this little thing down here. Also, I feel like you will get some under boob sweat in the sports bra just because they're not super sweat proof. I don't know how I feel about this little like gold bar being on the side here. I think it could have been like right there or something. I just feel like it's a little weird. I think the back is super, super cute. Honestly, I don't even feel this little gold bar. Like I don't think it's hurting me in any way and I think you'd be totally fine working out in it. I haven't heard anyone sit, have any problems with that specifically. I'd give it a solid light to medium support. It's not super supportive because the fabric is so soft, but it's actually a little more support than I figured. You can kind of see the cut pads in it, but it's not too bad. So yeah, I think that there's definitely a little squishing going on in the sports bra, but I don't feel like super compressed or like really tight. The small on me is my normal size, and I think this is a good fit, so I would stay true to size. It is giving me a little bit of cleavage here, which is nice, but it's not anything crazy. And I think the straps are a nice thickness, and because they come in a little bit in the back, you don't have to worry about the straps like falling off. They stay on really well. The band is also really comfortable here, and the fabric in general is really soft, so I don't think you're gonna have any chafing issues. So I think this is a solid medium-ish support, comfortable sports bra. I also got the long sleeve crop top in a size extra small. This top again is made of the same material, super, super soft, subtle Gymshark logo on the back below the neck. It also has the gold bar on the back. And one detail that I really like about this is they added this little like mesh layer to the bottom. So it kind of just peeks out like underneath the shirt. Those same little perforated details that the leggings had are on the crop top too, kind of towards the ribs. And then they have long sleeves and a little, um, more little mesh detail at the bottom. It's a beautiful day to be alive is on the cuff of the sleeve. Here is the long sleeve crop top. I actually think it's really flattering and I really like these little side, little pokey through guys. You can actually see some of the beautiful blue sports bra I'm wearing underneath through the holes. I think the mesh detailing is really cute and I just have a few problems with it. I am wearing it in an extra small. It doesn't feel too tight though, but I just feel like it's really trying to ride up a lot. Like every time I raise my arms, I feel like I'm risking exposure of the sports bra, which I just did. It also shows major pit sweat because this isn't very sweat proof. 
The sleeves are also, I know, I think they were meant to be extra long, but I'm pretty tall, I'm 5'9", and like I still have some gathering in the sleeves. So I don't know, I think the sleeves could have been a little bit shorter. And you can just like see the sports bra poking out in the back. Like I just think this top needs to be a little longer so it can actually cover what's underneath it. So yeah, I think the top is cute. It's comfortable, but it's super cropped and it shows the sports bra underneath. The sleeves are a little long and it shows sweat. So I'm not a huge fan. And lastly, I got the sweatshirt. I was kind of expecting the sweatshirt to be made of the same material as the leggings, but it's kind of just regular sweatshirt material. It's actually like not super soft or anything, so it's a little bit disappointing because I was expecting it to be super soft. You have the Whitney Simmons gold bar up here. You have drawstrings up at the top of the sweatshirt. The sleeves are supposed to be extra long, so I know some shorter girls are kind of complaining, but they do have also like these little cuffs at the end, which I don't know how I feel about the cuffs at the end of the sleeve. Like, I don't think I really like that. I think it looks kind of weird, but they're there. Little mesh at the bottom of the sleeve as well. And there also is a drawstring at the bottom of the actual like cropped hoodie with the mesh again as well. And last but not least, here's the sweatshirt. So I kind of thought that it would be like a little more like cropped and go to the top of the leggings because if I'm walking into the gym I don't know like this is just like a little bit more than I would like to expose of my stomach I kind of just wish this went right to the top of the waistband maybe it's just because I'm tall and I have a long torso but just for like you taller ladies it might not go all the way to the top of your leggings so yeah the sleeves did, were made intentionally long so that you could put the little drawstring there I don't really like how these hang off the edge but I actually think it's kind of cute to have like the little like poofy sleeves so not too bad. This definitely feels like a more athletic material sweatshirt. If you were expecting the kind of sweatshirt with that super, super soft, like brushed interior, this isn't it. So yeah, it's definitely more, I don't know, it's probably better for the gym that it isn't one of the super fuzzy ones, but still. Peach. I don't want to hold her too close to me so I get cat for this, but Peach is, hey. You me, girl. Ooh. Mm. So this bottom part also ties down, which, Kind of makes it a little too short for me. I just, I don't know. If I'm throwing on a sweatshirt, I just don't really like it to be super cropped. So it's a little too cropped for me. But if you like cropped sweatshirts, I honestly think it's really cute. So yeah, it also has a little hoodie in the back. I know it's kind of hard to tell in the black, but yeah. So I think it's cute, just not personally for me. All right, that is it on the Gymshark Whitney Simmons collection review. I'm really excited to see what Whitney will be back means from Gymshark because they're kind of dropping hints that more Whitney is coming, but it's not going to be the same. So interested to see what's going to happen. Will there be a restock? Will be there be new products? Who knows? Give this video a thumbs up if you liked this review and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more activewear reviews coming up. Also, let me know down below if you got any Whitney stuff and what your thoughts are on it. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.